Good evening. It is uh, 7 p.m., uh, June 7, 2017, for our Ottawa City Commission meeting. We'll start with a roll call, please. Mayor Kaler. Mayor Pro Tem Skidmore. Present. Commissioner Graves. Present. Commissioner Jorgensen. Present. We do have a quorum. Our mayor is absent tonight, but we will con be able to conduct our business as usual. I uh, want to welcome everybody here, and we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the invocation by Scott Dickinson. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day in Ottawa, Franklin County, and uh, for all the things that are going on. We pray to be with our kids as they're out of school for the summer, keep them safe as they go to the pools, they play ball, and all the things that they do during the summer. Watch them as they're getting around during the day. Help us to keep eyes, our eyes open. Oh, Lord, th we thank you for our, our city commission and for those who serve. We thank you for those who have recently um, put their names in for an upcoming election. Lord, we pray that you give guidance and all that stuff that goes on. Pray that you give our commission guidance as they cover the topics they need to tonight. Lord, be with each one of them. Be with their families. Be with the families of those who serve our community. And uh, we are we're thankful for all you do for us. Again, Lord, thank you for this beautiful place that we live, for the folks that serve us, and Lord, for just loving us and caring about us. We ask these and pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Scott, for filling in. Appreciate that very much. <coughs> we'll start with item six. We have on the consent agenda the minutes from the May 1st, 2017 study session, the May 3rd, 2017 regular meeting, the May 8th, 2017 study session, and the May 15th study session. Along with, on our consent agenda, we also have an application for Saramont Beverage License for the year 2017. Uh, Lori Simmons has applied for a Saramont Beverage License original in unopened containers for the consumption on the premises at 115 West Keokuk, Eastern Kansas Auction Barn. This has been reviewed by the police department and the city attorney with no cause for denial discovered. And you may note there is a, a mistake on that. It, the word not should be removed, so it is for consumption on the premises. Do I have a motion for the consent agenda, please? Mr. Mayor. Yes. Pro Tem. Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, move to approve the uh, consent agenda items 6 through 8 on our agenda. I wonder if there's a second anywhere. I will second. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We'll go on to the next item, number nine. Are there public comments? No one has registered. Nobody here. Okay, I'll skip that. Go on to number 10. Declaration at this time, I'd like to give the commissioners a chance to declare any conflict or communication they've had that might influence their ability to consider today's issues impartially. We're okay there. Very good. We'll go on to item number 11. Public hearing for consideration of condemnation of a single family structure located at 908 North Locust in Ottawa. This public hearing has been called for the consideration of the condemnation of a single family structure located at 908 North Locust. City staff will present the details for this request for condemnation, so I will open the public hearing. Jim Sherman. Good evening, commissioners. Um, just do a quick uh, presentation. Uh, previously, when we set the public hearing date, um, it was a, a single family structure on North Lawrence that was damaged last August in a fire. It has remained unoccupied to date. Um, a little chronology here that it was, there were some um, investigative reports done, but it was released to us in December. We've um, worked a little bit to try to allow the homeowners some time, but they have not contacted us. So this spring we sent a second follow-up letter actually starting the condemnation process. And uh, after that letter it was returned um, unclaimed. And so we moved forward with the uh, public hearing and that also has been returned unclaimed. There's been no uh, communication with staff on this uh, issue with the owner. These are photos we took last um, February and also last week and you can observe that there's been no effort to clean the debris um, or remove some of the debris from the yard. Um, 
it still stays in the same state as it was over the winter. Um, we were hoping for some encouragement that maybe at least the environs around the structure might be addressed, but uh, that too has not been. Um, and here's the rest of the profile. It's, it's badly burned inside. Um, the age and the structural condition of the building really doesn't warrant a, a viable rehabilitation of the building. Um, seeing that we've not had any contact with the owner, um, there's not a whole lot that you know, we're, we're able to do. Um, some, some communities do have programs where they, uh, they, on minor work, they rehabilitate, but in this instance, it wouldn't be recommended for the city to go in and try to board up. There, there's so much damage that um, the process for demolition would be what we'd ask. Okay. I just have a quick question on that. Do you know if there's insurance on the property? The, we we do not have any fire proceeds. In in okay. Plan. And it looked like the mailbox looked sturdy. Is that true? Or maybe that's the only part that will survive the. It's um, it's a nice open site. So for oh, yeah. for uh, removal, it will um, it will not cost up, uh, very much. But but you, uh, <coughs> yes, look, sir. It appears in that picture from last week that the the lawn has at least has been uh, um, mowed at some point uh, recently. Are we doing that, or is the property owner doing? I that? I, I believe maybe somebody from the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, we've had one up in there and, and real close to that before and what happened was the neighbors just went over and kept the hit it real quick but um, and that's great about Ottawa and we have we have that happen in several locations but um, sure. that's what that was our opinion that somebody in the neighborhood just went over and <clears throat> kind of cleaned it up so. okay. that's great right, thank you yes well, thanks to the neighbor too we appreciate yes. that <laughs> any other questions during our public hearing any questions from the audience? Anyone here that wants to address this on the public hearing for the condemnation? If not, we'll close the hearing and go on to item number 12. Request for approval of resolution to condemn a structure at 908 North Locust. This resolution authorizes this governing body to declare the single family structure located at 908 North Locust to be unsafe or dangerous and to direct that such structure be demolished or repaired and made safe and secure. Any other questions anyone have of Jim? I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor. Commissioner. <laughs> I move that we approve um, the request for the condemnation of the structure at 908 North Locust. And the second. Second. Second is there. Any other discussion on this? Because we'll take a roll call, please. How do you vote, Commissioner Graves? Yes. Commissioner Jorgensen? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Skidmore? And I vote yes. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Much. Chairman. We go on to item number wow, thirteen. We're up there. Just report Yes, I have about an hour's <laughs> worth of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's you're double parked. You're so you're gonna watch. <laughs> no. I have nothing, Commissioner. <laughs> you have nothing. Okay, we'll go around to city commissioners. How about Commissioner Graves? I don't have anything to Okay. Do. Commissioner Jorgensen. I just would like to, to congratulate our own uh, finance director, Scott Bird, uh, as being selected for one of the honorees for the Wall of Honor at the Ottawa High School. Um, I've known uh, some folks that have been, been on that wall, and uh, it's truly a great honor, and I think it's well-deserving in, in the case of uh, Mr. Bird. So congratulations. That's great. Good job, Scott. Appreciate that. Good. I was just kind of alarmed because I turned to page two where the obituaries are and I saw Scott's picture and it kind of scared me for a minute. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you look fine that afternoon. I thought you look okay, but we're glad you're okay, Scott. So yeah. And I really have nothing to report except I was going to say the same thing. Congratulations, Scott. And you're right. There's a you're uh, uh, in the middle of a lot of uh, amazing people, and you're in that same category. And I know you're a humble man. And it's hard for you to accept this, but you certainly deserve to be there. So, Scott, congratulations. Uh, I talked to him about that. Oh, you already talked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his picture on top. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh, we'll go on to announcements. We've got our study sessions for June 12th and June 19th. I believe uh, June 19th is when we're going to be, uh, oh no, the 12th, we'll be interviewing for the open seats. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And so everybody want to pay attention to that. And then on the 21st, we'll have a regular city commission where we plan to be swearing in a new commissioner at that point. Uh, that same day, we'll have our joint city commission uh, county USD meeting, which will be at the county annex. And then 
excitement really begins on June 26th and July 3rd when we do our, do our extended study session with regard to the budget. If there's nothing else to come before the City Commission tonight, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? All second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So 14.